Hello and thank you for watching. This is a short video for the Pink Dozen a Day book. It's called the Mini Book. And this tutorial will be on Group 5, which is the last chapter in the book. The only new material in this exercise, the first one running, is that instead of quarter notes and half notes, now we have eighth notes or tiki's or however you like to describe those notes, the two notes that are joined together at the top. So those are going to be played a little bit more quickly. So I like to group those notes together with just a little bit of a down motion on the first one of the two. So down, 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 just a very gentle pulse, if you will. Uh, we're going to get set up in our nice hand position with a nice bridge, nice firm fingers, more on the tip portion of your finger pads. We've got the whole finger pad. This is going to be played kind of at the top area of that. Middle C position, which means thumbs that are sharing middle C. I usually try to have the left hand kind of stay out of the way till it's left hand's turn, but get everyone else set. So right hand starts in this and let's begin. Only up to E or me. Roll up, left hand's turn. Slight little pulse. Let's do that one more time. Within the pulsing, set number one running. Watch the wrist for the fluid wrist circular motions in these faster notes. Join them together. Now left hand turn. Here's exercise two in a swing. Again we have the eighth notes. The notes join together two at a time and we're only going up in the right hand from do to fa, up a fourth, and left hand do to so, down a fourth in stepwise or scalar motion. And I think the biggest challenge about this one is not holding on. So what I mean by that is when you get up to your fourth finger, don't hold that note while the left hand plays and sit on it, but rather lift off. You see that little dotted line under the dozen a day person who's on the swing. That's the shape of your wrist in this exercise. So let's try. exercise two in a swing. Wrist is going to make a nice smile or half circle motion and then lift off. Don't let the fourth fingers hang on during this exercise. So one, two, three, four, off, one, two, three, four, off, one, two, three, four, off, one, two. Exercise three, teeter-totter, just reinforcing the interval of a fifth. If we're going up, it's do to so, and if we're going down, it's do to fa. Here we go. Again, don't hang on to that pinky when you restart. Switch. Exercise four, whirly gig ride in the right hand. We have do, mi, and so. Nice triad rolling through the triad. Left hand mixes it up a little bit. It doesn't go all the way down to fa, but rather one, three, four. So do, la, so, do. So reinforcing a harmonic structure here at the end. So right hand, we're going to be rolling through gentle wrist. Exercise five, swimming, legato, scales, passing between the hands. Notice we start on fa or F, 
And then when we restart, we'll start on so with the right hand. And this is swimming towards each other. Here we go. Exercise six, going down a slide, passing the hands in the scales, and then preparing for the cross under for a full C scale in the left hand. You notice we'll have one, two, three, one, five. So as I play this one, two, three, my hands are at a little bit of an angle, then my thumb's going to sneak under here. So the shape will kind of look like that to play the fifth. So we'll start on so with the right hand. Here we go. Exercise seven, climbing monkey bars. This is a pattern we will have a lot in music, these broken thirds. So you're just switching within this five finger scale position, pentascale, one, three, two, three, five. So getting used to do, mi, re, fa, mi, so. The left hand has do, la, ti, so, do. Great one to practice your solfege on. So we're in middle C position, means the thumbs are sharing middle C. Nice hand position, this is more on the tip portion of the hand. Here we go. Switch hands, don't hold on to the right hand, pinky. Two, three, four, now with solfege. Do, Exercise eight, hanging by knees on acting bar, kind of like the hammering with the right hand, hammering with the left hand that we had in the first chapter. So you're going to hold down your thumb while the other notes are playing. And here we go. And see if you can keep the rest of your hand relaxed. exercise nine walking on the trapeze rings and the thing about this exercise is the fingering can sometimes feel tricky because it's not the same so when the left hand goes up it's three two one but when the right hand goes up it's one two three so it's just getting used to that concept and the hands taking turns this will be in middle C position so we have Try this one with solfege. We start with la. La, do, ti, mi, do, mi, do, mi. La, do, ti, mi, do. Two, three, four. Here's exercise 10, jump rope. We're incorporating some things we've already worked on in this book. The touch staccati, the taking turns between the hands. The only difference for this one is the last time the right hand plays, it reaches up an octave to high C, the third space from the bottom in the treble staff, high C. So here we go, left hand. Right hand up. 11, tether ball. Now we see the five finger patterns with eighth notes or tikis, however you like to describe them. I like to interpret that staccato at the end of each phrase as a gentle lift. So sound like this. Lift. So you play that note as you're lifting up. Two, three, 
let's do it one more time. Here's number 11, Tether Ball. We're going to just lift off our pinkies as we do this piece, so it's the roll lift. So we're not gonna poke the pinkies, we're just gonna lift off when we see the staccato notes. Lift. Lift. And one, two, three, four. Here's exercise 12, fit as a fiddle and ready to go. Again, a fun little tune. Uh, just imagine that there's some harmony underneath that. Here it would be a one harmony, C major. So C major, C. Just one moment there where you're in a 5-7 harmony. We've got quick notes and bounce on those repeated Gs. Here we go. One, two, ready. watching this short video on the Dozen a Day Pink Mini Book. This lesson was on Group 5, and I hope that you found it helpful. I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique. Thanks again for watching.